Yo guys, what's good? Girl from 13 here back in today. And today, guys, we are here for episode number 27 of our Forza Motorsport 7 Let's Play. And guys, today we are rocking out in a BMW M3 with a Rocket Bunny kit. And so look at that. Look at those wide arches. Oh god, it's so it's so sexy. Oh look at them wheels. Look at them wheels though. Check out them wheels, guys. I actually was just like sorting through and I'm like, oh man, I like those. I like how they look on this car. It, it just looks good, I think. Uh, I just picked up this design off the uh, storefront. I, I, I liked it. I, I liked it. It looked kind of simple and it just worked. So, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm really enjoying it though. But today, guys, we're going to go ahead and finish up our early sport touring series. Uh, and if this BMW cannot put in the work, we're going to go ahead and switch back over to none other than our Mercedes-Benz. Because that thing was putting in the work. Now, because, guys, I'm not entirely sure how well this BMW is going to do, we're going to drop back down to expert again. I upped it to pro in the last, well, technically you guys didn't see it. But, I upped it to pro for those two races in between this one and last one. Nobody has yet told me anything about it, because honestly I'm recording this and the other episode just got uploaded not too long ago. And nobody mentioned anything. The, literally, here are the comments on, on that video so far. The comments are, FIRST! Okay guys, seriously? Uh, it's honestly like, there's three people. And they're like in a competition just to say FIRST on the video. And then... Someone said, you sucker. Thanks, man. Really appreciate it. And then somebody said, best Let's Play ever. Well, thank you to you, Nitro Bucket, because Nitro Bucket said that. As well, I will mention this, because I did do my video about the uh, the free Super VRZ Horizon Edition in Forza, Mo Forza Horizon 3. And I will mention, Nitro Bucket did let me know about that. He, he hit me up. He's like... Guard, there's a free Subaru BRZ in Forza Horizon 3. And it's like, what? H how do you know? And it's like, it's in Forza Thon. It's like, how do you know? I've been looking so much for all this information, of course. Literally, you just go into Horizon 3 and it's right there. <laughs> but I've been looking like through forums and all kinds of things, waiting for November Forza Thon information for Horizon 3 and Motorsport 7, because we are still looking for information regarding that. Oh, for a second, guys, I, I thought I had equipped the uh, the Forza spoiler, and then I just realized, nope, it's a Rocket Buddy, so I was like, where is my spoiler? It's already gone. But this BMW is already putting in some good work, I can tell. Ooh. Yeah, we are a little bit wider than the rest of the competition, so we can't get... Or, I don't know where I was getting with that, but man, guys, oh, I love the look of this E36. I have wanted an E36 for a little while. I would totally rock one, but, well, for a little while, the E36 was my favorite car. The E36 probably back in, uh, I want to say Forza Motorsport 4 became one of my favorite cars just because of the way it looks. I thought, man, this car is just one of the best looking cars out there. And then it's just stopped growing on me. Like, it just kind of got worse. I, I don't know how that happened. And I looked at actually buying one, but holy crap, for an E36, they want 10 grand. At least when I was, like, looking for one, because I'm like, oh, man, maybe I can get, like, a E36 M3 or something like that as my second car. Or my next car or whatever. And it's like, no, no, I can't. Because uh, I was still, like, in college. I'm like, oh, man, I wonder how much those are. And, cause, like, you know, if it's, like, five or six grand, uh, maybe I can afford it, you know. It'd be pushing it. But then I noticed... Everybody wanted 10 grand for at least a semi-decent example. There were some five or six grand versions, but man, were they just piles of garbage. Like, God, they were bad. So, but now that they've introduced this wide body kit onto it, I, I, I like it a little bit better, but it's still kind of just, it's iffy to me. Like, I, I feel now more for the E46 than I do for the E36. And I, I used to think the E46 was just, like, generic and plain looking. And now I'm like, man, that E46 is a good looking car. Oh, I would love to have one of those. And now the E36 to me looks more generic than the E46 did. 
Did I just say E46 looks more generic than E46? I mean, E36 looks more generic than the E46, because... God. God. And, of course, I got another comment today about my little miss mistake. Or, not even a mistake. It's more just people not realizing where a comma is supposed to be. And it's, it's still in regards to that Mazda M6 comment that I made during the glitch video, which a lot of people saw that, and they're like, oh man, this guy's an idiot. He's, he thinks that BMW M6 is a Mazda. Oh, it's a Mazda. Oh, you stupid. No. If you actually watch the video, there's a Mazda driving gear. It's a list. I'm making a list. Like, hey, there's a Mazda driving gear and an M6. Come on, man. Come on, get with it. That's all I can say because what are you what are, what do you what do you think? Uh, you think I'm really that stupid? I mean, yeah, I'm pretty car stupid sometimes. Like sometimes it's like I, I'll, I'll make a legitimate mistake and I'll call myself out on it. No, this was not a mistake. I was just making a list, and you guys, the, the couple people who keep saying like, oh, he just monster, I'm sick, no, 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 no. You don't realize I'm making a list. And there's a couple of people that, there, there's people that realize that, and they're looking at all these comments like, Mazda M6, nah, what an idiot, he, they don't even realize he's making a list, he's checking it twice, gonna find out who's naughty or nice, yeah, so, <laughs> it's, it's, it's November guys, it, it's also, it means Christmas time, so, yeah, there, there's a lot of people that really hate Christmas for some reason, I've always loved Christmas, guys. I just Christmas has always been my favorite holiday. I I get giddy for Christmas. I'm a 23 year old man. I still wake up at 4 a.m. on Christmas morning because I'm excited. And shoot, this year for Christmas, like I asked my parents for an ironing board. Like, are you, are you like that's that's what I asked for? Like, I'm like, hey, you can get me an ironing board because. I need, I need an ironing board and an iron so I can iron out my nice fancy shirts for work. And I, I, I don't have one. Like, I got to hang them up for a couple days before I can wear them to get the wrinkles out after I wash them. It's like, oh, man, that kind of sucks. And <laughs> just, I asked for an ironing board. And I'm still kind of giddy. Like, it's like, yeah, I get an ironing board. It's going to save me, like, 60 bucks. I, I don't even know. I don't even know. But of course, what my parents do is they have this little tradition, right? Where even though we're all sort of like growing up and, you know, I, every, every single one of my siblings is adults, my parents are adults and all that. What my dad likes to do is he still likes to get us all like something fun, like a, like a toy. Not like, you know, like an action figure or something like that. But like one year, he got us all Nerf guns and we had a Nerf war in the house. On Christmas or uh, last year he got us these little disc shooters and we just shot little plastic discs at each other so it, it, it's interesting to see you know kind of what that's gonna be because you know that'll keep us entertained for several hours it, it's amazing what can entertain a, uh, a couple of 20 year olds just yeah it, it, it's pretty crazy oh man but I, I I'm still excited for Christmas Halloween's pretty dope too uh, when you got something to do on Halloween. For me, I literally just handed out candy to trick-or-treaters. So, that, that was pretty fun. Uh, there, were, there were a couple interesting ones. There was one really creepy kid uh, who actually, you know, he looked inside my house. Look at the low res. Oh, gosh. Guys, that was bad. But, um, <laughs> I'll, I'll get to that part here in a second. There's a kid who I was handing out candy and he started looking around me like he was standing on my porch and he started looking around and he just looks inside my house and he's like hey nice xbox one dude and that that's creepy dude because it, it makes it sound like you're about ready to rob me and i ain't about that because i will punch a child in the face okay if you doing something stupid i will punch you in the face but yeah so like that that can creep me out and then if you guys watched uh, one of the other videos I put out, I was talking about a kid that came up to my door with a wooden stick with barbed wire wrapped around it. Well, it turns out it's actually one of my co-workers' kids, so that that's fun. And he, he scared the bejeebus out of me, because I thought, man, this kid is going to attack me or something, and, like, apparently 
she brought him over specifically to my house because she knew that I was giving out candy and I'm like uh, not a creep. So, but <laughs> oh man, yeah, he, he was trying to be Negan from The Walking Dead. Like I recognized the costume, but I just couldn't think of it like off the top of my head during the video. Because I'm actually not that far up in Walking Dead yet. I'm actually the season behind. Uh, behind the whole Negan deal. And it's just... that that That's where I am. That's where I am. But I don't know if you guys noticed that at the very end. Look at that low-res polygon right there, like, attached to the window. That is... That is crap. They didn't even make it look see-through. It literally looks like they just took a sticker and stretched it. Like, I mean, they did that in Horizon 3, but Horizon 3 was an open world. This is contained. This is contained. Like, crap, man. I, I don't even get that. The trees look better in Horizon 3 than they do in Motorsport 7. Low graphics, man. Low graphics. I hope, I hope that the 4K version on the Xbox One X just drastically improves the quality of the video game because from what I've seen I was looking at some uh, footage it doesn't it literally it, I mean it makes some of the stuff look better but it doesn't like change any of the textures or anything like that now granted I haven't actually seen like you know anything since like you know e3 or uh, someone claiming they had 4k footage of Maple Valley I, I mean I haven't really seen anything about that but I, I'm really interested to see how that's all going to turn out because, man, it does not look like Forza 5 looks a billion times better than Motorsport 7. I, it just does. Now, there are things in Motorsport 7 that look better than they did in 5, but I mean 2D trees. Come on. Come on, guys. I can't, can't stand it. It's just one of those things. I, I hope they fix it. I hope they fix it. I mean, it might even convince me to go out and buy an Xbox One X just so I could have three-dimensional trees. Just so I could have three-dimensional trees. Although, granted, uh, I mean, I feel like the Xbox, Xbox One X is still a pretty powerful console. So, I mean, it would be a decent thing to work towards. Uh, it's either that or instead of buying an Xbox One X, just going out and buying, like, a really nice PC and a PlayStation 4. Uh, because I have been thinking about getting, like, a nicer PC than the one I have. Because I bought the, uh, the laptop for the channel. Like, the, it's, it's a gaming laptop. And I use that, you know, for video editing and stuff like that. Because it's faster. And I can record with it. But I also want to get, like, a desktop eventually. Uh, you know, something that's powerful enough where I could do... Shoot, I can even do 4K videos. Not that I'm going to because they're so freaking big in file size. <laughs> But, like, get something that's faster, get something more powerful, that sort of deal, so that I can actually, you know, play some, you know, just regular computer games. I mean, this one is a good laptop. I mean, it was originally $1,000, and I got a hell of a deal on it. So, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a good laptop. It's an HP Omen. Like, I feel like they're one of, like, the better gaming laptops on the market right now. And I, I, I just want to get a good desktop. I mean, that, that, that's hopefully in the future. Uh, and then I can use the laptop to travel. Like, if I'm going to go and, you know, see my parents for a weekend or something like that, and maybe I'll take my laptop and online, or not online, my, uh, like, computer version of Forza, so that I can just play it there and I don't have to, you know, haul my Xbox One uh, literally across the country. I mean, because I've done that. I've done that. <laughs> Uh, for the sake of news although one one time I did also have one video that basically had pre-recorded just some blank footage and was able to make a video from that using just like some screenshots and that was kind of sketchy but honestly during that week when I made that sketchy video we gained like the that was like our fastest growing week ever like we were getting on average like a hundred subscribers a day and that was insane that was insane, my guys. That was insane, my dudes. Oh, I, I, I mean, just 
it, it was a good weekend or a good week for me because like I was I was on like a trip or something like that and that's what that was when I went to Louisiana and it was just it was good it was a good fun trip so many docked cars <laughs> um, but god this BMW though is putting in the work like I think we're just becoming a better racer overall because it's either that or I'm just really much better at this series than most of the other driver tars or Forza did something with the driver tars. Let me know down in the comment section if you guys have been racing at all and have maybe noticed like the driver tars are getting easier or are you getting better or something like that because something weird is going on. I, I, I don't know what it is but something is happening. Oh crap we have another lap. I thought we only had two. But here we go, on to our final lap. So there we go. Ooh, not too bad. We almost lost it there for just a second. But this wide body BMW M3 is definitely going to stay in my garage. I ain't getting rid of this for nothing. <clears throat> Except maybe when I get the Forza Edition one. But then that's literally just going to be a direct replacement. But the one thing that I hate, though, is uh, this homologation. I'm not necessarily... I, I like it. And then I don't like it. Like, I kind of wish that, you know, all the cars would be homologated to, like, A500 instead of, like, A475. Uh, I, I know 475 is actually B-Class. But I, I honestly wish that, you know, they were upgraded to, like, the max. Because that, that's how I like it. it, it it's OCD issues with me. So, but if you are playing online, you have to have cars ready to go into the Mahapus. And it's just... Man, oh man, like, I like upgrading my cars as much as I can. And then you see, like, I got this BMW, and I'm very, very limited in the upgrades I can actually put on it. I mean, if I want to, I can put a lot more on it. But if I ever want to race it again, well, I gotta just re homologate it. And I, I don't like that. I don't like that. I just wish that, you know... I don't know. I wish they would upgrade, like, your enemy cars to be consistent with you instead of having us be upgraded to be consistent with the uh, with the enemy cars. I don't know if that makes sense, guys. Does that make sense? But here we go. We are coming around our last two corners. There we go. Last, second to last. Here's the last one. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. And we are going to finish in first place yet again, which this means we just won a series. And guys, there's a ladybug on my ceiling. Like, one of those Asian, in like, yellow beetle ones. Like, not one of the red ones. But, I don't, I don't know why. I'm just looking at it right now. Like, what you doing up there, ladybug? I, I noticed it when I, like, came into my house. I'm like, what is that? Because, like, it's casting, like, this funky shadow on it. And I'm just like, what is going on? What is going on? So, we only lost 125 points overall. So, that is not too bad. I'm actually pretty stoked about that. In third place, though, was an M397 as well. So that M3 has been rocking it. Mm. There was also a 91. Let's keep going down here just a little bit. So, yeah, the M3 looks like it was it was doing pretty good. Uh, so, I, I mean, I guess I can't complain about that. I was going to check out the leaderboards, but I didn't. I, I actually forgot to check them. Oh, well. We'll check it later. I do have the number one time... Uh, on one of the leaderboards because I was using, uh, crap, what is it? Oh, look, two VIPs. Nice, nice, and then there's us. So, I'll explain this in just a second once we go ahead and get through this. 33,000 credits, not too bad. We're up to 539,000, and we get a level up, so we get a free dodge of Viper. Not too bad, not too bad at all. But as I was saying, though, I was just racing in, uh, it's an Alfa Romeo. Uh, you get it from one of the events. Uh, crap, which one is it? It's the P3, the Alfa Romeo P3. And I just went on to a random track. I think it was Circuit of the Americas. And I set the fastest lap time on Circuit of the Americas in that division. Because literally there were only about, there were less than 100 people who had used a P3 on Circuit of the Americas. That's why I was so fast. So what do we have left, guys? We don't have a whole lot left. We've got MX-5 spec, Rebirth of Muscle, Vintage GT, Formula 70s, and then we got these two events, which I'm thinking in the next episode, what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and start off with both of these, and that is going to be our episode. We're going to have a showcase special because 
I've been meaning to do these, and like we ended up doing like the Grand Prix one, but man, we haven't got to these yet, and this is going to be the bane of my existence. I hate the autocross events. I, I just do. Like, I, I don't like just swerving. It's just, just let me go around the track. My dude, come on. Come on. Or, like, set the cones up so that they're on the race line instead of, like, making me have to swerve all the time. I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like it. This one should be pretty fun, though. Head-to-head -head against Ken Block for the second time. Hopefully, we will come out victorious. But anyway, though, that's where I want to go and wrap it up for today. If you guys want to, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at twitter.com forward slash grade 413 and instagram.com forward slash grade 413. And as well, if you guys like this video, go ahead and make sure to smash that like button down below for us because you guys already know your support is so greatly appreciated. And make sure to subscribe for more videos coming out all the time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.